A statue of Josephus Daniels, which stood in Raleigh's Nash Square for 36 years, is no longer standing there. In the late 1800s, Daniels ran the News and Observer newspaper, spreading anti-black rhetoric and backing black voter suppression. CBS 17's Jamise Price spoke with his family after the statue came down this morning. This all happened early this morning with about a handful of folks watching. Daniel's great grandson came up from Nashville. He wanted to see this for himself, see this statue removed. And this is what is left here this evening. The family says this is something they thought about for a while, but the time was now. This is where the statue of Josephus Daniels once stood in Nash Square. The plot is now empty. The statue loaded on the back of this truck and hauled off to a private storage. Daniels' great-grandson reflects on why the family made this decision. We just felt that um, the time was right, that perhaps his statue should be not on public property. Um, and let him be remembered uh, in a place that is more appropriate. Daniels was credited with being a major force behind the news and observer, was a well-known racist and white supremacist. Historians have said Daniels was one of the people most responsible for causing the 1898 Wilmington massacre, where several African Americans were killed. We regret about uh, his past is something that becomes increasingly indefensible uh, as we look at what's happening in America and, and across the world. So we don't, we don't want to have a symbol of that as part of our legacy to, and our service to North Carolina. Onlookers stopped by Nash Square today to see it for themselves. Some glad to see it go. I think that's a very honorable thing to do. And, you know, I think he probably did do some good things, but he did some really horrible things. So, you know, I think it's just good that it's not here anymore. The family says they went through the city attorney and the Parks and Recreation Department to gain access to the property and remove the statue early this morning. They tell me the statue will remain here in North Carolina. In Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.